Hello to all of you and welcome to the selection of the best mods for Minecraft Bedrock. For example, here you can find a mod for such fireflies, then these flexible blocks are just a stunning thing. The flashlight will also come to you where you are looking, it will glow there, in short, allegedly shine with a flashlight. It will be very cool today, complete the achievement from above, write comments, subscribe who is not subscribed and let's go. I'll start today with such a fashion for vanilla fireflies, that's how they will look as if they were real. Here in the main can we were shown how fireflies will look and this mod well, just illustrate this here is everything in Minecraft and super realistic, super awesome, that is, as the developers conceived and these fireflies will spawn in different warm biomes, including in swamps, that is, you need in mangroves in this go into the mangrove forest and see a cluster of fireflies. Wow, these are the same fireflies. How cool are you guys just check out how the atmosphere of Minecraft is changing dramatically, but this is a completely different level, something completely different, but it's like already well, the feeling that this is Minecraft remains, but I don't know as if there is something mysterious in this super awesome thing very in vain the developers did not add fireflies because it looks super awesome. I have spoken in many videos, so my subscribers know about my opinion it is super important that you just listen. Personally, I think that fireflies were not added because release 1.19 was released, well, like the developers just didn't have time to add it and after the release they go on vacation, I think this is the most important main reason why fireflies were not added, they are there because eco-friendly and other crap. I didn't believe it all. We begin the review here is a firefly from what angle we would not look at it, it will still look at us like this is a chip. Next, if you are on the creative, you will spawn. Here you tap as you see several at once, as if something bursts, and several fireflies appear at once. This is also a super cool moment that I noticed and then I want to tell you now how you can put these fireflies in jars so that it glows like this. Just take an empty jar, approach the firefly, right click if you are playing with Windows 10 and just hold if from the phone and all you get is a jar with a firefly that will glow and just put dot I would say that it would be cool if these fireflies themselves were still glowing and lit up the space with dynamic light around them, but as if I don't want that. To be completely honest with you, because they are already, well, that's how cool it glows, it seems to me it would be Krenzovo if they also illuminated the blocks or something else. This jar can be crafted for survival. You just need a board and glass and everything is ready to craft. Another thing I want to show you is that frogs in this fashion eat fireflies. Yes, that is, the developers decided, well, they said that they decided not to add fireflies, because frogs eat them, and then, well, in real life, if a frog eats a firefly, then it will die. And the developers, well, then we will not add the possibility of a frog to eat a firefly, and at the moment when they were shooting the trailer, apparently they did not know about this wire, this nuance that the frog is dying. They showed us how a frog eats a firefly, but in fact, guys, it doesn't work that way. You see, the frog took a firefly and ate another firefly there, let's eat it, jumped up, jumped on fireflies like it. Appa also ate there, in short, that's how it all looks, look, just catches fireflies and eats them. Just stupidly catches it. There's another cluster of frogs here, let's see how this whole thing looks. In short, an insanely cool theme, so you can safely download this mod, those who want to see fireflies. Even if there is a day, all the fireflies immediately disappear. That's how it all works, that is, you see fireflies appear only at night and only in warm biomes. In short, the chicest mod, I recommend to everyone those who love some wild update there. Let's call it that. Another super useful mod that I want to show you is the traveler's tags. What's the joke, you can put such labels here. Let's say I like the jungle, I put such a mark here, then I'm traveling somewhere, imagine that I'm well, that's what I'm basically not far away, I'm swimming in the water like a pancake, I need to go to the jungle urgently. He takes such a special item, and I thought I had a stack. So come back here, please. So hold on the screen if you play from your phone and right click if from a PC according to the standard. Yes, and here you see the jungle there hop, you are teleporting now, that's it, I've already teleported and everything is fine. That's so super fast how to create points, I think you've already guessed. You need such an item that you can craft for survival. Then the joke is that here, first of all, such a beautiful interface. Yes, here we click add, then we call the tree somehow. I'll write the color of the text, let's choose some light purple and the color of this very waypoint beacon, let's choose what you want, write in the comments I'll listen to you, I'll choose this one, but it's a pity that it's not a stream. Green shadows, green like that. How difficult it is to choose a color. In short, pink is all I chose and hop everything appeared here we have a tree and such a pink lighthouse. Also, the whole thing can be deleted, so click eliminate and choose what we want to delete. Let's say the tree and hop were deleted, that is, it's as simple as possible, and in my opinion someone uses something similar in their let's play. Yes, 
in order to quickly teleport and not waste time on some kind of movement somewhere there to run some other base, but just teleport and that's it? By the way, there is still an abandoned portal to hell, I'm lucky. So the chest is again this thing, that is, this map is created for survival, that is, you need the pearl of the edge, then an empty map and compass, and all of you will create such a waypoint for your survival and you can use the survival mod. So we'll start running through the jungle right away, somehow jump, we'll teleport anyway, that is, look, we have special effects like teleportation effects, as if through space. So you go, your head is spinning, everything dark is not clear in short. This is a super awesome mod I recommend to everyone here for survival. And I'll show you another super awesome mod, then you can even consider it can be added to the category of realistic mods that add some realism to Minecraft. The bottom line is that dynamic lighting is like this, you just hold any glowing object in your hands and it glows and they have levels. Let's say such a lantern and yes, that is, from the fire of souls, it is so less bright, an ordinary lantern is much brighter, that is, check out for yourself there are in principle a lot of such details here. There is also a mushroom light, too, that's a super bright thing. And the main joke is that mobs also glow. Let's say a creeper, if we set it on fire, it will start to light up, that's how this whole thing works. The lava cube also glows, that is, that's how it looks guys super realistic, super awesome. In principle, this is how it should be, I'm sure that in the future developers will still add such a chip in Minecraft, it's kind of obvious, especially in Minecraft Bedrock, this case can be optimized. You can somehow easily implement it so that it does not load the device too much, unlike Java. Yes, it is unlikely that there will be such a thing in Java, but in Bedrock I am 100% sure of it. It's just a matter of time. In short, we hold any object, it glows in our hands. Thus, you can easily move around in the mine like this to light up everything, you will not spend too much torch. In short, I know that many of you have been looking for something similar. This is such a realistic mod, here you have found it, congratulations. Be sure to write in the comments after this video which mod you liked, so that I can understand what mods you like and work like this. Okay, let's move on. Check out this topic, the most flexible blocks in Minecraft Bedrock. By the way, the mod weighs 5 megabytes, so you can create something similar. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's say some kind of flat surface, let's put this block here, if anything, it can be corrected. That is, just squat, hold on the block or click on the right mouse button. Yes, everything is according to the standard and we choose the position of the block, let's say so. Next, we do such a thing like we're going somewhere, then we need to make a turn, we take this block and put it this way, then here and then we need to make this whole thing smooth. In principle, no, this is not a smooth option, but this is how we do it. A much smoother option, look at the turn I made here. This mod will add more than 2000 blocks, just think about 2000 blocks and 17 shapes. Yes, that is, look at these, you can take some glowing ones, that is, look at different shapes. There is just some kind of maximum roof. Let's see the first one, these are such small blocks. They can also be corrected if anything, but you need to do it with an empty hand. Yes, that's how we can adjust this case. So on we have such a wall as if it were a wall. Yes, that's how the whole thing looks. The main joke is that it is in kind of semi-block. Here you can see by the contour, and this will be the block you think I won't squeeze in here. Nifiga here I will pass, that is, I can't pass in a place where there is really a block, that is, you see, this is how this whole thing works and it's super awesome. That is, the mod is maximally optimized for Minecraft Bedrock, for our Minecraft. Look, this is how we can wrap just Chikardos. So let's put such a roof, as if it were, and also the whole thing can be changed here, you can put it on top. Like that. Damn, it's a super cool topic, so let's now have a small session block, here's a block of land we have here is such a thing. Yes, that is, if you need to, that is, you just think about how many things you can create with this. So we have ALDS, we have Y similar blocks, these are just guys, think about it for construction it's just paradise. Now many builders are wow robot. Awesome. I am 99% sure that these blocks are also glowing. So night 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 night. Yes, they are glowing, that is, they are simply optimized at the highest level. The developers of this mod just have a big big respect, because to create such a thing, well, well, this is the only mod so far in Minecraft Bedrock with something like that. There is really no alternative. You can look like this, some cutouts, some things, and they're all insanely cool. So guys, fly into this mod, download it, decorate your homes and you will be happy. See also the boards, I just opened the boards, here's their dofig, glass, also here's sandstone. Almost any block can be awesome. Yes, 
let's say concrete. So now I'll show you how this case can be created for survival. You need a stone cutter, we go here, let's say we put boards and we can all create all these figures. Everything is as simple as possible here. So there is such a thing. So someone came to my card. Now they will see such blocks now we will make a day in shock just in shock. Well, yes, this main craft can still be like that. As if there is still no such thing, come on. I'm doing everything with a map, let's see what I have here next. Yes, yes, these are the blocks that are pleasantly simple. It is necessary to make some kind of emotion, it is necessary to do this type of look, look here. By the way, yes, this is an interesting moment whether these blocks are burning, whether they will burn, that is, it seems to be a block of the board and I wonder if it really says or not I put a fire. I'm putting another board here now we'll check no they're not burning. These blocks here, although they are made of wood, but they do not burn. Ordinary boards speak. And now guys check out what I'm doing, I'm just using a flashlight in Minecraft Bedrock. The flashlight that is on the phone, in fact, this thing works here, I take the flashlight just a candle in the place and here, illuminating the mountain, I look at what and how, I remove the flashlight all as if there is no light. Here I just take flashlights and a candle, figure out how cool it is in the mine, that is, in a mine somewhere in a super big mine, you need to light up some specific space, and you can't throw a torch, but to shine it, you need to go down and put it. It's all in the past now. Take a flashlight, so look what's going on there, and that's it. Here are the guys I'm in the mine now, I'm walking, I'm lighting up the space, I see all sorts of blocks and I'm traveling normally, that is, you can use both a dynamic torch from the past fashion and a flashlight, that is, everything is as simple as possible, as convenient as possible. So here's a spider, I'm lighting up a spider. The guys look stunning, I would never have thought that in Minecraft Bedrock there would really be such mods, that is, we are looking somewhere there is really illuminated. It's just something with something that's generally tin. Well, let's say goodbye already, all these mods will be at the bottom of the links in the description to everyone until new meetings.